Welcome everybody to my first video for my 13 days of Halloween. Randomly over the next month, 13 random days, I will be dropping a Halloween themed video just for you guys. This could be a ranking video, it could be a top 10 movie review, whatever it may be. I'm excited to get all these videos out to you guys. But before we get started, I have to have some proper attire. My Scott's Tots shirt is really cool. Got that Hot Topic the other day. Love it. But it's not for the Halloween season. Here we go. This is much better. Today's first video is the review for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, I have never seen this movie. I've always seen this movie Blu-ray copy staring me down at Best Buy saying, buy me. I'm only $7. Buy me right now. And I've almost bought it several times throughout the years, but I haven't. I sat down and watched it for the first time and I have some thoughts. But before we get started with this video, my special guest for today is Austin Burke. He will be giving his thoughts on Killer Clowns from Outer Space and I'll be jumping in afterwards. If you guys have not checked out Austin's channel, he is a great YouTuber. He has a great personality, charisma, really great reviews. He structures his videos so nice. Love watching his videos. If you guys have not checked out his channel, please do yourself a favor and go over to his channel. Subscribe to him because he is an awesome YouTuber. I'll put the link down below for his channel. Make sure to go to his channel after this video and subscribe right away. You guys will not regret it. So Austin, what did you think about Killer Clowns from Outer Space? What is up, Justin, and everyone watching this incredible channel? I am so honored to be on Justin Watches Movies, a YouTube channel that I watch fairly often. This guy is a fantastic reviewer, so I appreciate you having me on to talk about a movie that I just watched this week for the first time, and that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. What a ride. <laughs> I know Justin has a lot of horror movie reviews coming out in the month of October. I am honored to be a part of this one. If you guys don't know how my reviews work on my channel, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. Let's get into the good. So Killer Clowns from Outer Space, 1988, aliens who look like clowns come from outer space and terrorize a small town. This is directed by Steven Chiodo and written by the Chiodo Brothers. It's a movie that I've heard a lot of things about, but I never had the opportunity to watch it until now. And like I said before, this thing is absolutely insane. There is so much to talk about, both good and bad, but I will start with this. This is clearly a B movie. It's a riff on horror films that we had seen prior to this point. And they do a good job in that regard. Is the acting good? Not really. Are the lines of dialogue the best I've ever heard? Absolutely not. It's definitely a product of its time. It's an 80s movie. It belongs in the 80s. It is straight from that time period. And I have seen films from that time period with worse acting and worse dialogue. But this one's pretty bad if you look at it from the, oh, they're trying to make a good film standpoint. But if you look at it from a standpoint of, they knew exactly what they were doing and they stuck to their guns then there's a lot of joy to be had. And they really did stick to their guns here. It's cheesy, it's silly, it's stupid. A lot of it doesn't make sense. Actually, if you think about it, none of it makes sense because it never answers the major questions. But that's part of the joy of watching a movie called Killer Clowns from Outer Space, guys. You know what you're in for. Exactly what I expected is what I got. But I had a good time watching it because it's fun. And the best part about this film is just the way that all of the special effects came across from that time period, guys. The clowns, the look of the clowns, the feel of the clowns when they were on screen. Some of the scariest things. I am not kidding. I've watched a lot of horror films in my day. And I don't get scared. Jump scares, they don't get me but when you creep me out and you just give me something that looks freaky and maybe it's the way it was filmed or maybe it's the fact that it's a b-movie but these clowns the makeup and the prosthetics it looks so good but it looks so bad at the same time it's a good bad thing but it's meant to creep you out and it does absolutely that this is a horror film in the horror genre and it really scared me. It's not just a horror film, it's also a comedy. It's a comedy horror, it's in the title, it's on IMDb, that's what it's meant to be, and it was funny. The dialogue that I would say is really bad in other films, well, in this movie, it really kind of works. The whole thing is one giant spoof. You look at a movie like Spaceballs or Airplane, now those two movies I think are handled better than this, because this was on a lesser budget, more of a B-movie film, especially when you look at the horror genre. Movies like this exist, a lot of people love them. I can see one how this is a cult classic because it absolutely is and it deserves to be because it has all of the makings of a cult classic. 
It's a product of the 80s. It is so scary. The sets, the colors, the design, everything is forefront in your face. It looks great. It looks fantastic. And you look at all of the work that went into the set design and the special effects and the makeup and it's like, wow, they put a lot of effort for a movie that's going to come across like this to certain people. For me, I had a pretty good time watching it. Now, there are definitely issues and we'll get into that right now. I think this movie is going to suit a lot of people, and I know that I would have loved it if it came out when I was young and I got the opportunity to watch it. Now, maybe I would have been petrified out of my mind, but I still would have enjoyed the content, and I would have grown up with it, have that nostalgia. Now, I don't have nostalgia for this film. I just watched it for the first time, and while I can appreciate a lot of the cult aspects of it and the fact that it's a crazy, zany B-movie, it's poorly done when it comes to any kind of character development or why you care about these characters or dialogue or script or plot or explaining anything. When I think about it, it's not a good movie. And it's odd to me because they put so much care into the things that I was talking about earlier, but they couldn't write the dialogue any better. They couldn't direct it any better. It has a good look to it because of all of the set design and things like that. But then when you look at the camera work and some of the CGI-esque special effects, I know they didn't really have CGI back then, but those are, those are really bad. And Austin, it's 1988, what do you expect? I get that. But then you watch it today and, and I can't help but to feel that they could have done a better job. As a piece of entertainment, it's great, but the movie as a construct, what goes into making an actual film, a cohesive one at that, it's not good. I don't really know how anyone can tell me that it is good. I saw the Rotten Tomato score. I was very surprised to see that it was that high. From an entertainment standpoint, it's great, but the fact that I was laughing at the movie itself, at the way it was made the majority of the time, kind of tells me that the film itself isn't that great, so I don't really get how a lot of people are giving this a 9 or a 10 out of 10, but from an enjoyment standpoint, it is pretty fun. And it's so ridiculous that I can see how it's hard for people to dislike it. And because of all of those reasons, I'm going to give this movie, and I know it seems a little harsh, but I'm going to give it a 50%. But on Justin's channel, we do letter grades. That is why I'm going to give Killer Clowns from Outer Space a C. But I'm going to say from an entertainment standpoint, because it is a B movie, I will give it a B because it's a B movie. Not that a different B-movie. So Justin, thank you for having me, man, helping me discover a cult classic that I have yet to see. If you guys want to follow my channel, I am at Austin Burke on YouTube. I do things, I talk about movies, but keep supporting Justin, man. You always put up great content and I always love watching it. Now back to you. Thank you, Austin, for joining me on this review to talk about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Can't wait to have you on the channel again soon. Like I said, I have never seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I've always wanted to see it, but it's never been a priority for me. And I've seen the clowns, and I see what they look like, and it looks ridiculous. So I know going into this movie that it was going to be stupid, it was going to be funny, and I would laugh at this movie. And it's just that. This movie is ridiculous. The really bad dialogue, really bad scenes, movie that really does not make sense at all but still managed to entertain me. And when you have a movie like that, it's good. It's a fun movie. This is a so bad, it's a good kind of film that makes no sense at all, but I really don't care because I laughed at how bad this movie is. Some of my favorite scenes in this movie have to do with the clowns just going about this town and killing people and capturing them and putting them into this cotton candy cocoon inside their spaceship. It is scenes that really add nothing to the plot of these two young people who are a couple and they're trying to get the police involved to find these clowns. That is the main story, but then you have the clowns going from one place to another, just creating havoc amongst the town. And what really baffles me, and it's not believable at all, is that you have like these six foot, seven foot clowns just walking through the city and everybody just seems okay with it and they encounter the clowns and they smile and have a good time it's like the certain scene where the clown has the shadow puppet at the bus stop and everybody just looks at the clown and smiles like they're having a good time <laughs> If I were one of those people, I would run. Or the store clerk where the two clowns are destroying like this smart and he's just like, no, oh no, 
oh no, don't do that. The reactions from these people are not believable at all and just adds for a lot of humor in this movie. One of my favorite scenes early on is when they throw the popcorn onto the couples and they have blow up this balloon dog and the balloon dog chases after them. Certain scenes like that just add to the humor to this movie and the ridiculousness to it and why it is one of the stupidest movies I've ever seen but is also one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It's a movie that I could laugh at because it's so bad but still find myself entertained by it. I honestly would say I'd probably watch it again sometime in the future because of how poor and stupid this movie is. This movie is not going to impress a lot of people. The dialogue is really bad. It has a structure that's very similar to other 80s horror films where the police don't really believe you until it's too late and then they believe you and then you're dead. There's a lot of bright colors but there's an overuse of a black background in a lot of scenes. I, think, do, I do think that some of the set designs really do pop and the clowns look really creepy, but there's that overuse of just like a black backdrop in the movie. You can tell that they didn't put a lot of effort into making certain scenes. But overall, I was impressed with a lot of things in Killer Clowns, especially the costume designs for the clowns because they are truly terrifying. As I was watching this movie in the early morning, I just thought, what if a clown just walked out of the bedroom towards me? What would I do and how creepy that would be? I was just thinking about these clowns and there's a scene that really is probably the best scene in the movie and actually really terrifying is when they kill one of the sheriffs who don't believe in the clowns and he's using him like a puppet and he stands up and starts pushing tables off to the side it's actually quite terrifying in a really dark scene amongst a slew of other scenes that are really straight comedy this one was really disturbing. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is a movie that doesn't answer a lot of questions. It's silly, it's ridiculous, the costume designs are funny. This movie is just a movie that entertains you because it is so stupid but you want to laugh at it because they did a poor job crafting this movie but you just can't help but laugh at it. I'm going to go ahead and give Killer Clowns from Outer Space a C. I am happy I did watch this. I was thinking of movies I have never seen before and you're gonna get a lot of reviews for movies I have not seen before in this month for 13 days of Halloween. So I'm excited to talk about some movies I have never seen before and I get to watch this one first, this gem of a cult classic movie, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. But I'd like to thank Austin for joining me once again on my channel. I love watching your channel and I'm so happy you agreed to be on here to talk about this movie. And it was your first time seeing it, so we got to experience one of the stupidest 80s movie of all time. Thank you guys for checking out my first video for 13 Days of Halloween. For the next random 12 days, we will be getting you guys will be getting a Halloween themed video from me to you guys. This could like like I said, this could be a ranking video, a top 10 video. Uh, television series, whatever it may be. I actually have the calendar right in front of me. I'm looking at it, uh, but it's kind of small, so I really can't see it. But, but you guys will be getting a lot of videos based around Halloween. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos because they will be randomly dropping. I probably will be announcing some of them on Twitter. If you guys like to follow me on Twitter, J Watches Movies and on Facebook, the same name, and on Instagram, the same name as well. So make sure to follow me on social media and follow Austin on social media as well. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.